breaking I can see the perfect sky is torn Wow, didn't those mics sound awesome on those tests? More of those tests later in the video. This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be checking out these two microphones by Roswell Pro Audio. I've got the Mini K47X on my right here, and I'm currently speaking on the Mini K87. Now, just before I begin, I want to give you guys a little background. Roswell Pro Audio have carefully studied, tested, and documented virtually every microphone on the market. To say they know a little bit about microphones would be an understatement. They're basically an encyclopedia on all about microphones, especially their owner Matt, who I've had the privilege of speaking to regarding Roswell Pro Audio. The Mini K47X and the Mini K87 have been designed, assembled, tuned and tested in California. The passion and enthusiasm that this company has is clearly demonstrated in their microphones. The Mini K47X won the editor's choice at the NAM 2023 this year. The Mini 47 gives a presence and character to its sound and the Mini K87 that I'm speaking on is a high resolution condenser microphone giving you a warm and natural sound. They worked well on everything I threw at them from vocals, guitars, saxophone, harmonica and the tabla. We'll be showing you these tests a little later so do stay tuned in. So with that being said let's go and roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio gear and reviews each and every week. Also, don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout the video. For this review, I'll be using the Mini K87 and the Mini K47X. Currently, I've got the Mini K87 plugged directly into my Apollo Twin X with 48 volts of phantom power engaged. My gain level on the Apollo Twin X is set at 31 decibels and I am recording in 24-bit 48 kilohertz. And you are listening to the raw and unprocessed audio, meaning it's L natural, there's no EQ, compression or any type of a noise reduction. However, I may need to boost the audio later in post. So with that being said, let's go and see what comes in the box. So the Mini K87 and the Mini K47X comes in this a good quality aluminium or aluminium flight case designed to protect your microphone during travel. It's definitely designed to withstand the rigors of touring. A quick mention, each mic usually comes in its own flight case. Inside you'll find the microphone you ordered. In my case, it's the Mini K87 and the Mini K47X microphones. You'll also find a two Roswell Pro Audio exclusive metal cutaway elastic shock mounts. They're very well constructed and have some true weight to them. You also get some extra shock mount elastic bands. Each mic has its own Roswell branded micro fleece mic sock. And as far as the documentation goes, you get an operator's guide for each mic as well as a sign and dated quality checklist. You'll also find the Roswell Pro Audio microphone catalog and finally a Roswell Pro Audio sticker. Also, if you want to pick up the Mini K47X for yourself, it will set you back around $519 and £419 in the UK. And if you're looking at getting this microphone, the Mini K87, it will set you back around the $439 or £375 at the time of filming this video in the UK. As always, I'll drop the links in the description down below, so don't forget to go and check that out too. And it is worth mentioning that both of these microphones do come in a matched stereo pair, and they both come in a choice of some really cool custom colors. And I highly recommend that you visit the roswellproaudio.com for more information, which I will also link in the description down below. So with that being said, let's go and switch over to the Mini K47X and let's go and take a deeper dive into the build quality of these two microphones and see if it's the major upgrade that you've been looking for. Okay, peeps, we've swapped the microphones over. Now here's the K87 and we are now speaking on the Mini K47X and this is what it sounds like on my voice. And to do a fair comparison, I haven't changed any of the settings. The gain level on the Apollo is exactly as it was on here. 31 decibels. 
So as far as the build quality goes, both microphones feel fantastic and have a high quality construction. For their size, they have a heavy solid steel body. Both have a similar look about them, but under the hood, it's a different story. The Mini K87 is a high resolution condenser microphone with a neutral voicing. It aspires to transparency rather than color. The Mini K87 excels on vocals sung and spoken, including voiceover and podcasting. They also sound great on guitars, acoustic strings, and drum overheads being compatible with a wide Wide range of sources, both instruments and vocals. K87 is a front addressed cardioid microphone. At the top, you'll find a firm nickel grille, protecting the ultra thin gold plated large diaphragm 34mm K67 capsule. It has a pristine transformerless circuit designed for transparency, low noise, and low distortion. You get audiophile grade components throughout the signal path. The Mini K87 has a very natural, uncolored sound with an almost flat frequency response. With a high sensitivity of 18 millivolts per pascal, low self noise, and very low distortion. The K87 and the K47X has no filter or pad switches. On the front, the solid steel body carries the Roswell logo and the microphone's model name in white. On the bottom, you'll find the 3 pin gold plated XLR connector. Moving on to the Mini K47X microphone, it's their newest model and comes with a large diaphragm, a single plate a Roswell K47 capsule. Hidden behind the nickel grille. The K47X has a vintage circuit design with the Roswell T7 output transformer and it comes with the hand-picked audiophile grade capacitors. Like the K87, the K47X also has a solid high quality heavy construction build ensuring a real world a durability and a long service life. It also has this metallic indigo finish which is customizable in four different colors. The mini K47X has a mid-forward frequency response which complements pianos, guitars and vocals. The 47X's harmonic saturation enhances the source much like a tube microphone would. Importantly, the capsule has a low self noise and a transformerless circuitry to reduce the hiss out of your tracks. Again, the K47X works well on most sound sources, which I'm going to demonstrate in a short while. Though I did find that the mini K47X does have a presence peak, which can easily be resolved with a bit of EQing. Moving forward, let's go and talk specs. So as far as the specs go for the Mini K47X, it's a condenser microphone with a pressure gradient transducer. It has a cardioid polar pattern. It has a capsule that is 34 millimeters OD, a true condenser, single backplate K47, a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, a sensitivity of 12 millivolts per pascal, an impedance of 200 ohms. The signal to noise ratio is 81 dBA. The equivalent noise is 13 dBA, and you will require 40 volts of phantom power to drive the microphone. The output is a, a transformer balanced and the mini K47 comes weighing in at 380 grams mic only. Now looking at the spec sheet for the Mini K87, it's also a condenser microphone with a pressure gradient transducer. It has a cardioid polar pattern. The capsule is a large diaphragm, a 34mm OD true condenser, K67 and K87 style. The diaphragm is an imported Myler center terminated. The frequency range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Sensitivity is 14 millivolts per pascal. Impedance is 112 ohms. Signal to noise ratio is 82 dBA. The equivalent noise is a 12 dBA and you will also require 48 volts of phantom power to drive this microphone. And as for the output, it's electronically balanced a transformerless. And finally, the Mini K87 comes weighing in at 325 grams mic only. Now that you've seen the unboxing, the build quality, the features and the specs, let's go Let and do the most important thing, testing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
adored You don't seem to know or seem to care What your heart is for I don't know him anymore There's nothing where he used to lie Our conversation has run dry And that's what's going on And nothing's fine, I'm torn I'm all out of faith This is how I feel I'm cold and I am shamed Lying naked on the floor Illusion never changed Into something real I'm wide awake and I can see The perfect sky is torn Well you couldn't be that man I adored You don't seem to know or seem to care What your heart is for I don't know him anymore There's nothing where he used to lie Our conversation has run dry And that's what's going on And nothing's fine, I'm torn I'm all out of faith This is how I feel I'm cold and I am shamed Lying naked on the floor Illusion never changed Into something real I'm wide awake and I can see The perfect sky is torn must say that the Mini K87 and the Mini K47X sounded practically awesome on everything I threw at it. With that being said, let's go and close down this video with some final thoughts. These microphones are both amazing options, although their performances lend them to different applications. If you can swing it, you're best off having both of them. These microphones are built to last with a durable steel body and the nickel grill on both of them, which is very, very firm, I must say. Treated with proper care and stored correctly, these microphones will last you a lifetime of use. The K87 and the K47 handles vocals, acoustic instruments, and percussion sounds extremely well. These microphones are best suited for anybody who is serious about engineering and producing a good sounding music. However, I wouldn't eliminate the fact of using them on a podcast or on voiceovers like I'm doing right now. For me, they delivered a lovely clean sound on acoustic guitar with just a hint of high frequency sparkle on the K87, but the K47 has a noticeable lift in the higher frequencies. But the overall response on both of them 
was smooth. The Mini K87 is a general purpose, a studio condenser microphone with a solid smooth sound and strikingly natural and warm I must say. To round things off I found the Mini K87 and the K47X excellent choice of microphones. They're both versatile in my opinion especially the K87 and they both come at a great affordable price for what you get. The only downside is there's no pad switches or low cut frequencies. Most importantly and it must be noted good quality parts inside these two microphones make these microphones a force to be reckoned with. These simply are high quality microphones hands down at an affordable budget price and I seriously can't wait to test their flagship microphones so do stay tuned. Hopefully you found this video useful if you're interested in the Mini K47X or the Mini K87 drop us a comment down below. If you've got any questions about these two microphones or any of the other reviews drop us a comment. Anyway peeps that's all you're going to get from me for today hit that like button if you like the video, smash it if that's your thing, subscribe if you aren't already and I shall catch you in the next video.